I love succulents because they come in wide range of shapes and styles from gorgeous green to rainbow arrays and change the look of the space. But some succulents are really difficult to take care for in this hot season. So today I thought I am going to talk about one of my favorite succulent, Havarthia species. These adorable succulents, commonly known as zebra plant succulents, striped succulents or spiky succulents, come in many varieties, most with striking markings. Zebra plant is beautiful, it's strong, not so fuzzy, perfect for beginners and grow really well indoors. If we follow some basic care tips, it also propagates easily which makes it a perfect for mini arrangement or gifts. These plants form rosette of fleshy green leaves that are generously covered with white bands which give them a distinctive zebra effect. Do you know they are close relatives of aloe and has medicinal properties as it produces aloe. So it is soothing if applied to burns, cuts and also sunburns. They are also used in cosmetic preparation like hand cream, shampoo and sun tan lotion. Like other succulents, however, their species enjoy bright sunlight but not direct sunlight. If the leaves are turning crusty, white or yellow, that may be a sign of too much or too strong of light. I found that they do best in a room with window facing east or west that provide morning bright light, a break in the afternoon and then more light in the evening. I used to place this cute guy on this east facing window but recent I observed its tips are turning brown due to a rise in temperature. So I moved it from a window and kept it a few feet around 6 feet away from the window. Now it is growing pretty well. So I would advise during this hot season protect them from intense light, they'll do better in medium light. And during winter and monsoon keep them on the window sill. If plant is not getting enough light, its green color will fade. For growing them, use small pot with sufficient drain holes and if possible use terracotta pot and specifically use succulent potting mix. They prefer sandy, well drained, well aerated potting mix. You can bring a ready made succulent potting mix or you can make your own potting mix. A mixture of equal part per light compost and garden soil is also an ideal alternative. Being succulents, these plants store water in their leaves. It is best to use soak and dry method. Allows the soil to dry out completely between watering. Water zebra plant generously until it comes out of the container drainage holes. And then empty the catch plate as they hate sitting in the wet for too long. Then allow the soil to dry out completely before giving it another drink. You can use a moisture meter to check or by sticking your finger in the soil. If it's feel dry, then it is time to give a zebra plant a good drink. Just like us, succulents need more energy when they are in the period of growth. During the spring and summer, the plants are thriving and drinking up much more water than when they are resting in the winter. This plant doesn't require any humidity like tropical foliage plants. What it does require is good ventilation, especially during the night time, when they take in carbon dioxide for photosynthesis. Havarthia is small, usually remaining 3 to 5 inches in tall and they are relatively slow growing. They often do well in small container. Eventually, zebra plant will produce small offsets sprouting up at the base of the plant. When the cluster of offsets outgrown its container, it's time to report. Use 1 to 2 inches big container than previous one. This is also the time to take offsets for propagation. This is the easiest method of Havarthia propagation. When taking offsets, use a sharp knife or scooper and cut as close to the mother stem as possible to include as many roots as possible. I got these tiny cute little animal pots especially to plant these attractive tiny pups. They can be grown in any small interesting container like this or even you can use tea cup. Just to make sure that the container has an adequate drainage. If it doesn't, 
it might be a good idea pop the plant out of its container and add a layer of gravel to the bottom to reduce the wicking action of the soil above after planting put them in a warm bright spot and make sure to water them carefully they are small slow growing succulents that look absolutely adorable on a table top plus they are not poisonous to humans and pets Hortia also produce flowers in winter season. It has small white pink color flowers that grow on a tall thin stem. All indoor plants including succulent gradually pick up dust on their surface which can inhibit their growth. So wipe off the leaves and spine gently using a soft paint brush. And that's it. All you need to know about this adorable succulent. Hope you find this video helpful. Thanks for watching and if you haven't subscribed to this channel please friends subscribe to Garden Vibes. And also for plant care tips do follow us on Instagram. My Instagram handle is gardenvibes14. See you soon. Till then happy gardening.